morning and welcome to another Tuesday tour. Scott Sauter and April Holeider from your Purdue Alumni Association, along with our special guest, Kelly Hiller. Hello. Kelly is the director of the Centennial Communications. So today we're going to talk about the 150th, what's happened, what's coming up. I should tell you this is a recording um, with concrete trucks and buses behind us, the construction going on. Is going to close caption this so you'll be able to hear every word. So, this is actually coming to you on May 7th, Tuesday, May 7th, which is the day after the Founders Day on campus. So, as you're looking at this, Purdue is 150 years and one day old. So, we're going to talk about the excellent job that Kelly and her committee has done, starting with last year at Homecoming and ending this coming year at Homecoming. So we're going to get into that and talk about the books that we have and kind of what's going on. Kelly, can you tell us about your committee and how you've gone about some of your planning efforts with 150? Sure. So early last year, President Daniels charged us um, with coming up for our vision for the 150th. He really wanted it to be um, more about celebrating where we're going as a university and reestablishing Purdue as a thought center. So he wanted not to really focus on celebrations and parties, uh, but be more thoughtful in what our efforts were gonna be. So that's how the Giant Leaps campaign came about, along with the Ideas Festival. That's really been the signature uh, events of the celebration and the centerpiece of all of our efforts. Uh, so we've continued to put the Ideas Festival together. We have an oversight committee um, it's led by Mark Lundstrom and Chris Laddish that I work really closely with and identifying what events ladder up to the Ideas Festival and putting together our programming also coming up for the fall. Excellent. And they've done an excellent job with signage. And we're in front of this very unique 150 uh, year structure that's temporary. So you only get here before you, before you can. Right. But there's a lot of signage, so there is no doubt everybody around here and around the country knows this is Purdue's 150. So I think you've had maybe some uh, recognizable names in the speakers yes. already. Yes. Tell us a little bit about some of those. So we've had lots of guests to campus this year. We had Bill Nye, uh, Sully Sullenberger came, Steve Wozniak, uh, who was a, a founder of Apple. Uh, so lots of exciting events happening at Purdue. And then we're also looking towards the fall. We're gonna have Condoleezza Rice in. Uh, and we have several others that are in the works that are to be announced. Okay, excellent, excellent. Concrete trucks are getting closer, I can tell you, <laughs> uh, as we're talking about this. Uh, so yesterday was Founders Day. Was yes. there anything uh, in particular that happened on Founders Day? Well, it would have been nice if our founders picked a better day <laughs> because it was, a, it was a Monday. It's the Monday of senior week, so campus is you know, pretty cleared out. Uh, so there wasn't a lot of activity happening. But if you haven't checked it out yet, definitely check out the Purdue social media channels where we took an opportunity uh, to bring back a figure from our past to really tell the story of how Purdue came to be and to honor that, that heritage and how this was all possible. Excellent, excellent. And then it concludes right. that homecoming this coming fall. Tell us a little bit about what will be happening then. So homecoming this fall is going to be so, so busy. Um, that's the week Condoleezza Rice is in. We're also going to have a great event with Alan Stern. Um, it's going to be the astronaut reunion. The Ever True campaign is wrapping up. Uh, of course, the homecoming game against Maryland, which will be fantastic. I know we'll win. And then we also have a few other uh, prizes that we're working on, so hopefully we can get those details nailed down and announced pretty soon. But homecoming in 2019 is going to be a fantastic weekend, uh, so I, I, I get your hotel rooms booked now. Okay, <laughs> you'll want to be a part of that. And then also, as a part of that, Kelly and I are obviously holding yes. two books. These books are hot off the press, and they are available now at the University Press. Can you yes. tell us a little bit about these two? So these books, uh, this book right here, uh, was really an effort through the archives, and it is a coffee table picture book type format that really tells the story of student life at Purdue and how through images it has evolved since our founding to present day really walks you through that student life journey. And then we have this Ever True book, 
that was written by John Norberg. And this is the latest Purdue history book uh, that really walks through the last 150 years of Purdue's history. And like John said, these are both available for, through Purdue University Press. And we actually just launched a page on the TakeGiantLeaps.com website that features all of the books that are related to Purdue's history that are currently available through the press on one page. So if you go to TakeGiantLeaps.com under shop, there is another, there's a sub page there where you can view these two books as well as several different history books that have been published through the press throughout the years. Excellent, excellent. I've had a chance to look through these and these are just excellent. So you want to make sure you get one of these for your shelves. So we're about to wrap up. I do want to have April swing to the right. And you can see where all the noise is coming from. And that is the new gateway to the university. This, this is at the corner of uh, State and Grant Street. And we're hoping to have this wrapped up by commencement. So again, if you're looking at this, this should be done in three days. <laughs> and uh, with the weather challenges they've had, they've got their work cut out for them, I'm afraid. But another reason to get back to campus to see see that beautiful gateway to the university. So, Kelly, anything else you need to I think that's the highlight reel. Um, definitely check out, keep, so the way to keep in touch with what's going on with the 150th is to make sure you're monitoring the Purdue social channels. Always visit takegiantleaps.com. That's where we're posting event information. And if you do miss an event, um, there are some events in which we have recordings posted under our featured speakers area. Not all speakers that come to campus let us record, uh, but those that do, we make sure we post those event recordings there. Well, on behalf of the campus and the Alumni Association, thank you very much for no all problem. that you and your committee have done. It's just an excellent job. So on behalf of myself and April, thank you for watching. Hail Purdue.